All right, so I am going to make a smoothie really fast. This is one of my favorite smoothie recipes that I make. Um, I'm using the blender. You can use, it comes with this whole set, obviously. It has all different types of functions. You can use just the cup for the smoothie if you wanted to just do that alone. Um, but I'm gonna make it in here today. So let's go ahead and make a smoothie. So I just have two bags of tea. I'm gonna steep this and then let this sit in the fridge until it gets cool and then I'm gonna finish the smoothie. What you can do ahead of time, I've done this before but I just, you don't always think about it ahead of time. Um, I've actually made the tea the night before and put made it into ice cubes and then instead of adding ice, I added the tea cubes basically. But let's be honest, you don't always think about smoothies ahead of time like that. So I am just going to go ahead, make the tea, let it sit. I'll probably throw it in the freezer so it cools faster. Um, just until it gets cool enough and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the smoothie. All right, so we're gonna start and do all of our ingredients except the tea. And I just have about a cup of strawberries along with two dates. I cut them up, um, but there's two full dates in here. And then I have about a half of a cup of milk. This is the kind I recommend for smoothies. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of honey. And now that that's smooth, I'm gonna add in my tea along with ice. And like I said, you could use your tea as ice cubes. Highly recommend doing that. It was so good when I did that, but I just didn't do it this time. Totally optional, but always recommended top with some whipped cream. And that is it, my favorite breakfast smoothie. Give it a try, I think you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching, bye.